Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how you can create and edit Photoshop files without having to have Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. As you probably know, Photoshop and Photoshop Elements are two of the most powerful image editing programs available, and they're really nice. And if you have them, you already know how great they are. But if you don't have them, you probably wish there was a way that you could edit Photoshop files without having to have Photoshop. One reason you might want to do that is there are lots of free Photoshop templates. This is an example. This site has over 11,000 free templates that you can open and edit Photoshop. They include things like posters and business report covers and business cards and all kinds of interesting things. If you had Photoshop, you could download these free templates, modify them, and have a really nice graphic of your own. And this is not the only site like this. There's lots of them. Here's another one. It's called PS Streams, and it has tens of thousands of free Photoshop templates, things like T-shirts and book covers and other stuff. And if you want to find even more, all you have to do is search Google for free Photoshop templates or free PSD templates. And you find lots of these. Now, if you don't have Photoshop or Photoshop Elements, you're kind of left out. Until recently, there was no way to edit a Photoshop file that had layers and other elements of Photoshop unless you had Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. But now there's an easy solution. And it's an online site called Photopea. And with Photopea, you can open and edit Photoshop files. You can even create Photoshop files. Let me show you how it works. First of all, to get to it, you go to Photopea. That's P-H-O-T-O-P-E-A dot com. When you get there, click File and Open. And if you've downloaded any of those Photoshop files, or if someone has sent you a Photoshop file, find that file on your computer. Here's one that I created. And once you've opened that Photoshop file in Photopea, you can do almost anything in it that you could do in Photoshop. In the left-hand column, you'll see it has most of the tools of Photoshop. It's got the Move tool, the Rectangle Select, the Lasso tool, the Quick Selection, the Magic Wand tool, the Crop tool, the Eyedropper and Ruler tool, the Spot Healing tool, Brush tool, Clone tool, Eraser tool, Gradient tool, Blur tool, Text tool, which allows you to go in and change text, Pen, Free Pen, Path Select Direct, and the Hand tool. Under the view option, you can zoom in, zoom out, fit the area, pixel to pixel, guides, grids, rulers, and snap too. So on this image here that I've created in Photoshop, I can bring it up onto Photopea, and I can do things like if I want to change the text, I can highlight the text. You can type in new text. If you want to, you can change the font on the text. Right here is where the font drop down is, and any of the fonts that they have on their computer, you can change that. For example, I can change it like that. I can uh, always go back by selecting Undo. I can move the text around just by using the Select tool. And just like Photoshop, you have layers over here. So if I want to move the cottage layer, I select the cottage here. Once it's selected, I can move the cottage around anywhere I want on the screen. I can select the background layer, which is Landscape, and move the landscape around. I can also change the opacity in the landscape right now. I've got it so that it's turned all the way up, but if I want to turn the landscape down, I can do that, make it almost disappear. You see, you can do just about everything in here that you can do in Photoshop. You can also import photos and do things that you can do in Photoshop. For example, if you have a photo that has some type of glitch on it, you can use a spot healing brush or the healing brush tool to fix that glitch. Once you're done with it, you can save the file as a Photoshop file, or you can export it as a PNG, JPEG, SVG, GIF, or other different formats. It's really nice to be able to go in and open Photoshop files and edit them and make them the way that you want, especially considering that there's all these Photoshop templates that are free that you can just download. Even if you don't have Photoshop, you can go to Photopea and edit them there. Like I said before, you get here by going to Photopea, that's P-H-O-T-O-P-E-A dot com. And once you get there, just file and open it, and you can use it pretty much like Photoshop. thought you might be interested in knowing about this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.